What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and welcome to day one of my grand challenge run with Hisui and Zor. Now on this team I've got three Hisui and Mons actually, but we'll get to that. Basically the plan here is you have Ndidi Armor Rouge, where Ndidi sets the Psychic Surge and Armor Rouge can use Expanding Force, and they're all min speed on this team, so it's good to set up Trick Room. Or you can lead Lilligant Torkoal, and the Lilligant can throw after use at the Torkoal, and there's just so many combinations of things here for the opponent to worry about. And so when you add Zoroark into the mix, you could lead Ndidi Zoroark and disguise it as an Armor Rouge. Or you could lead Lilligant Torkoal, but the Lilligant is actually a Zoroark on its own. That's why this Torkoal and this Ndidi have Helping Hand, so they can boost the power of this Choice Specs Terra Normal Hyper Voice to sometimes just get two KOs turn one that the opponent isn't expecting by outspeeding things that they expect to be faster than your Ndidi Armor Rouge, for example. The rest of this team, we've got Ursa Luna, just because it's a great Trick Room on. It covers some bad matchups, it like, it like resists Rock, for example, where Armor Rouge and Torkoal are a little weak to that, and it's just great. I was running Meteor Beam Armor Rouge at first, but I found Life Orb Aura Sphere is a little bit better, especially against the like Tyranitars, which my team was suffering against a little bit. Now a couple things I have here, I have Sleep Powder, which I don't love, and I have Focus Blast, which I really don't love. But sometimes you can get into a position where you have to click those, and so it's better to have them than to not. But basically, I'm going to be trying to trick my opponent and trip them up with how many different things they need to cover, and then hopefully the thing I do isn't the thing they covered for. But anyways, you can try this team too if you want, the rental code's there in the corner, but let's get on to all of these matches. Okay. Here we go, Rillaboom, Amoongus, Ensign, King Gambit, Ninetales, and Primarina. Good Firewater Grass Core, they got a little Amoongus, they got a King Gambit, King Gambit's annoying. They have multiple ways to worry, to make my Psy Spam worry. How great do I think Zorg would be? Outspeeding Ninetales? Being able to just get a big hyper voice right away seems really nice. Having Torkoal is basically mandatory. And Torkoal under Trick Room is actually pretty good too. So I think it's going to be Ndidi Zork, Torkoal, and then Disguise Zork as Armor Rouge for this first match here. Ursa Luna isn't bad. Honestly, Ursa Luna isn't bad. Uh, I, I could go just the Trick Room route with Ndidi Armor Rouge, Torkoal, Ursa Luna. I don't love Lily Cole here. Yeah, this is what I'm locking in right away. I'm so nervous. Alright, this is my first match in the GC. This will set the tone for the- oh, that's a good card. Good. Good job, Max Protect. This is gonna set the tone for the whole thing. King Gambit and Primarina. Okay. Don't love it. It's gonna be a hyper voice from them. I shouldn't worry too much about King Gambit, I should worry about getting Trick Room up if I can. Like a Terra Grass Trick Room. And then just throw a hit with Zorark. Is that worth it? It might be. I'm gonna try to trick the King Gambit. I'm worried it might Terra here. Alright, Ndidi is gonna be the first thing to Terra. We got our Terra Grass on. This will help us take a hit from Primarina, it'll help us take a hit from King Gambit. 
They are terrestrializing. Okay, I'm glad I didn't lock in Focus Blast. I did not want to click Focus Blast, turn one, game one. And they're Terra Dark. Okay. Alright, we get the trick. This will at least lock them out of clicking Sucker Punch. And we steal their black glasses, so they're actually weak. Hyper Voice will break Zorok's disguise, that's okay. And just double into my Zorok if you if you don't mind. No, they're gonna hit him. Well, this will be a Hyper Voice to clear Zork and a Kowtow Cleave to clear Ndidi. Can I sweep with the back two, or do I want something to take a hit? Not in a great position. I was hoping they would take out Zork. Torkoal needs its health. To go for a Psychic onto Pre-Marina. And I'm gonna click Hyper Voice. They're not gonna let me get either of these off. Actually, they swapped out King Gambit. Into Rillaboom. Okay. Don't hate that. A tiny bit of chip on Pre-Marina. And a special defense drop. Ooh, and they don't take out my Zork. Pretty risky. Zork gets some free damage. Now the question is whether they hyper voice or just go for a like protect with Primarina. Because I can abuse a protect by bringing in Torkoal here. Zorok might as well Hyper Voice again. A plus one Hyper Voice from their Primarina is going to do a big chunk to Torkoal. That's the main downside. But I mean, they haven't preserved Terra on Rillaboom, so Rillaboom's threatened by a Weather Ball at any point. Even if they change it to Ice, which I don't know if they brought Ninetales. It doesn't look like a Ninetales game from them. I could see the last being Incineroar but not nine tails. All right, Torkoal, good luck. Just another call mine from Pre-Marina, that's great. I expect this to be a U-turn onto the Torkoal, actually. No, it's a wood hammer. Oh, Rillaboom's staying in, I love that. Let me get even more chip with this Zorark. Marina got another Calm Mind, which is annoying for sure. Rillaboom's gonna be forced to hard swap here. So we'll at least get some damage on that. Trick Room, two turns remain. I kind of don't want to bring in Ndidi, but I also kind of do want to bring in Ndidi, because if I can save Zorark, like, why not? Click Eruption, abuse whatever comes in on the Rillaboom slot. Ndidi and the Sun should definitely be able to take Hyper Voice, but Zorark wouldn't, is the main problem there. And it doesn't look like they're getting their Rillaboom off the field. Could this be a grassy glide attempt? Because you're just going to go down to eruption. I I hope. Yeah, Little Boom goes down to eruption. Pre Marina is the main threat. Pre Marina is what's going to sweep us in the end. Here comes a hyper voice, right? Yeah. Ooh, Torkoal's just gone. Ouch.
Well, we did learn some information earlier, and that information is that our Ndidi is slower than their Primarina, and so our Armor Rouge is slower than their Primarina. So here's where I bring in Armor Rouge. And they bring Amoongus. Okay, I can follow me away anything the Amoongus wants to do and just click Expanding Force. They will likely double protect here. Oh, do they double protect here? No, I think they heal their pre marina here. Oh, I have to call this. There's no way they spore. I'm gonna expanding force helping hand. I need I need to call this turn correct. If they double protect, I needed to double trick room. If they spore, I needed to follow me. They're healing their pre marina. Got the right call. Let's go. Now is helping hand expanding force gonna take out a plus one pre marina? Probably not, and we still lose that. Ah, oh, so close. Hyper Voice, which we both eat, actually. So what good does that do? Hmm. So they bring out King Gambit. They click Kowtow Cleave. They're not in Hyper Voice range. They were faster than Ndidi. There's no way Armor Rouge gets a hit off. They're just gonna Hyper Voice. They could fear Wide Guard here and throw. If they fear Wide Guard, they're gonna Moon Blast something, which can be redirected. And then I can get an Armor Cannon into King Gambit. That's my play. I think they just Hyper Voice though, and then it's game. Yeah, we're just gonna lose game one. Man! <laughs> That's so rough. That is so rough. How could, I have, how could I have done better there? I think I got the lead wrong. I got the lead way wrong. Putting Zorark in in front of a King Gambit lead is not the way. Hmm. How do I handle Pre-Marina better in the future? Uh, having Lilligant would have been nice. <laughs> Just Psy Spam in the front, Lilligant in the back. Now my play here is they try to protect Pre-Marina and finish me off with King Gambit, so I can get a Focus Blast into King Gambit. But yeah, they're not even going to protect. I connect the Focus Blast. It isn't enough though. Almost. GG. Alright, we're starting off 0-1. Not the position I want to be in, but <laughs> it happens. Oh no. Alright, GG. At least you got a good trainer card and a cool team. Alright, here we've got King Gambit Primarina again. This time they have Rillaboom, Electabuzz, Gallade, and Volcarona. Torkoal would be good except for the potential for Wide Guard from Gallade. Lilligant. Lilligant seems great. I really like Lilligant. The one problem with Lilligant would be Electabuzz clicking Follow Me. And then whatever is next to it getting its getting to have its way with Torkoal. I don't love Zorak here because of the King Gambit. I don't hate Ndidi Armor Rouge, honestly, though. Ndidi Armor Rouge, Torkoal, Ursa Luna. It's not the worst. Ursa Luna and Torkoal. I mean, at worst, Ursa Luna's gonna speed tie King Gambit. Because we're min speed, same base speed. If we get Trick Room up, I think we could be alright here. We'll have to play games with terrain control, of course, because they have a Rillaboom. But our team doesn't much care for Rillaboom. We're bringing two fire types. 
And yeah, I guess Ursa Luna cares a little bit, but we can eat a Grassy Glide. Can maybe even Oko with Facade. That's a decent card. All the little flowers. I don't want to start off 0-2, just because our Rillaboom, so... Gallade and Electabuzz. Okay. This might be some sort of Imprison shenanigans. They probably have Taunt on Electabuzz. I do want to try to get Trick Room. I think I'll Trick Room with Indeedy and just click Expanding Force, turn one. They have to call where to taunt if they are going to taunt. And if they imprison, they imprison. They get hit by a big Expanding Force for their trouble. Wide Guard taunt into Indeedy. Well, that just moves us on to turn two. And they also have to worry that this is a Zorark on the field, which is, like, also huge. Gallade just swaps. Okay. Gallade into Rillaboom. I didn't expect Gallade to go right into Rillaboom turn one. Gotta give him that. And it was Taunt into Indy. Wow. Good play. Yeah, let's get that Electrode some damage. Not Electrode, Electabuzz. <laughs> Have I been saying Electrode this whole time? Different Mon. Same gen, same type, also gets Taunt. Spanning Force did good damage too, wow. So now we bring in Torkoal. Just to get Indeedee off the field, right? And they what, you turn into the Torkoal? Fine. Do they taunt my Armor Rouge? I don't know if they do. I think I'm willing to risk it. I think I'm willing to try Trick Room here. Could just be a fake out into Armor Rouge anyway. Getting Torkoal on the field here isn't bad. It's not super threatened. Unlike getting Ursa Luna on the field would be a little rough. Yeah, it's just fake out into Arm Rouge anyway. And a Taunt. Okay. I could swap in Indeedee and click Expanding Force here. But they have King Gambit. But they wouldn't swap in King Gambit here, so I think Expanding Force play is actually fine. Go to Indeedee. Click Expanding Force into Electabuzz. It would be incredibly bold to bring in a King Gambit right here. But I could see Terra Fire from Rillaboom, for example, if they want to stay in with it. I could also see a U turn onto my Armor Rouge. I guess I could see U turn onto Torkoal trying to call this play. They're not swapping. That's what I was counting on. Uh, but now they can U-turn, and then they might feel safe to go into King Gambit. They're just terastalizing. Is that Electabuzz into Dark? No, it's Rillaboom, most likely into Fire. Which is weird. That must mean you're not going to U-turn, because you you're faster. You should be faster. So you would be able to U-turn out. Especially with Electroweb, you're going to be faster. The high horsepower into Armor Rouge, that would hurt. Wood Hammer into Armor Rouge, that's not gonna hurt that bad. Yeah, thank you. This is great, thanks. Expanding Force. Huge damage onto Electabuzz, Rillaboom takes it, but probably wants to get off the field soon. The fact that they Wood Hammered there, I think they don't have high horsepower. Here's Delay. I mean, 
mean, I could try Trick Room and just Armor Cannon the Glade. I think that's what I want to go with, because if they're going to try to Imprison or Wide Guard, I might be able to just... Okay, they're just going to double into a DD. Oh, they're Life Orb Glade. Okay, Armor Cannon will take them out. Cool. You take Terrain Control, but I'm going to get a second KO here. So I'm not hating this. The last is King Gambit. Oh, if only I had targeted that slot down. Get out of here, Gallade. Alright, if I bring in Torkoal, they fake out Torkoal. Kowtow cleave my Armor Rouge. If I bring out Ursa Luna, they fake out Armor Rouge. Ursa Luna might be able to get a free hit in. I think I'm bringing in Ursa Luna. One problem here is we don't know the speeds between Armor Rouge and King Gambit, but neither do they. They probably expect an Ursa Luna Protect. I could see this just being Fake Out, Kowtow Cleave into Armor Rouge. I could see Fake Out, Armor Rouge. I don't know, maybe they try to chip Ursa Luna? I think Terra Ghost is the play. I think Facade would finish off the line from here. And I'm gonna try to Trick Room with Armor Rouge, actually. This is very scary. This is a very scary position to be in. Because I'm pulling Terra Ghost in front of King Gambit. I'm trying to Trick Room just in case they want to go for Sucker Punch. They try to fake out the bear. Hold up, that's huge. We get facade, Rillaboom's gone. We actually find out the King Gambit is min speed. Which is great, because now my Ursa Luna is, well, it's a speed tie. But you're not gonna be able to cover for headlong rush and eruption. Okay, there we go. Last turn of sun, they should protect if they have it. Headlong rush. Eruption. Yeah, they do have protect, okay. Should I have swords dance there? If they didn't have protect, and they just hit Torkoal maybe? then Swords Dance would have been a throw. I don't think they're going to be able to one-shot a Torque Hole anyway. They have to go after Ursa Luna first. We could just win the speed tie and win with Headlong Rush. And then Eruption, I think, would be enough. Might even try to Sucker Punch into the Ursa Luna, since you, you know your min speed. Yeah, that's what they're going for. That's not going to KO. Perfect. Looks like from that damage we might have been able to take a Kowtow Cleave anyway. So get out of here. Okay, there we go. That was very awkward, but this team can handle it just because we got so many stats on this bear. Oh, GG. Here we go against a third King Gambit. They also have Rain. With Pelipper, Basque Legion, Archaladon, Salamence, Amoongus. Oh, it's very standard rain stuff. Okay. Against standard rain stuff, what do I want to do? Indeedy Armor Rouge, maybe? With Torkoal, Ursa Luna? I don't... Do I want to bring Zork? 
King Gambit is the main reason I don't want to bring Zoro. They probably lead something like Zorok or Archal or they probably lead something like King Gambit or Archaladon with Basque Legion. And maybe try to like flip turn into their Pelipper. I think these are the four I need. I don't it's definitely not a Lilligant game. Is it? Because you can't just lead Lily Cole. Because they'll just have Pelipper in the back to shut down everything I do. So I think those are the right four. I've played Rain before. Uh, Rain is a tough matchup, but it's definitely winnable with Torkoal. Ooh, and they got the bear. Nice. Good card. Thank you for having a good card. Uh, it's King Gambit and Moongus in front. Okay. Not so bad. I could Terra Grass follow me. I could Terra Grass follow me and set Trick Room. I don't know if I want Trick Room against King Gambit and Amoongus. Terra Grass follow me seems right. And then I'm not too worried about Amoongus, I'm more worried about King Gambit. I could throw an Aura Sphere. I'm feeling brave. I'm going to throw an Aura Sphere. I, I definitely need to Terra Grass something turn one just to stop Amoongus from being a problem. Are they going to go into Pelipper here? So that they think they're safe from Armor Cannon? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. I had to cover for other stuff, but this is what I wanted to see. And we're getting the Terra. Their King Gambit is either slower or not terrestrializing. Being slower than Indeedy isn't crazy, though. They are gonna terrestrialize. They're gonna terrestrialize and they're gonna. Okay, if they're gonna terrestrialize here, it must be pure dark. So Aura Sphere is still fine. Yep, pure dark. We get to see the speed tiers here, which is really important. We are in fact slower than their King Gambit with our armor route. Indeed he soaks because of the Terra. And here's a little Orsfield boy. Enjoy. Now we get Hurricaned on Indeedy. Kowtow Cleave into Armor Rouge. Torkoal could dodge. Indeed, he could dodge if I put up Sun. Get my best play. I think that's my best play. I'm, I'm a little bit pinned here because they're faster. I should have set Trick Room, but you never know with King Gambit. King Gambit's so awkward. King Gambit just protects. I love that. Can I dodge a Hurricane? Oh, it's on a Torkoal. Thank you. Love that. I'll take this damage. Whatever. Pelipper is going to swap. So I can get Armor Rouge back in. And finish off King Gambit with Weather Ball. Pelipper has to swap here. You want your Weather. And I will give you Weather if I can have your King Gambit. Oh, it's just Wide Guard? Ooh, big throw. Yeah, I covered for that. I did not want to get wide guarded with my eruption. 
I figured I figured eruption would probably have been enough to finish off King Gambit from there, but I didn't want to risk the small chance they could fly guard. And they did put Clive Guard. Which is great, because now we can punish. Uh, I guess you got a Moongus coming in. You're gonna Terastalize and Spore something. You, if you Terastalize, you probably want to Spore Armor Rouge. Get Pelipper out. No, you can't Terastalize your Moongus. Oh! Psh. Who cares then? I'm gonna click Expanding Force. And I'm gonna click Weather Ball into a Moongus. Because either you protect a Moongus or you take a Weather Ball. And I guess if you Wide Guard again, I mean, you're crazy. Uh, I think the main problem would be a Moongus living this, and then I don't, and then sporing, so I don't get the expanding force. That would certainly be annoying. Okay, no, we take it. Beautiful. That's gonna be a game. Let's go. Let me just expand some force here. Get rid of Basque Legion. Not sashed. Pelipper's probably the sash. Beautiful. Beautiful game. And then, what are our Trick Room turns looking like? Last turn of Psychic Terrain, two turns of Trick Room. If I get Torkoal out and bring it back, Armor Rouge wins, basically. I'm gonna click Expanding Force, because if you Wide Guard, you're just wasting time. And I'm gonna bring in Ursa Luna here, because it doesn't exactly matter. If you go for a Weather Ball, you can take a KO on either slot, but then I still have so many Pokemon left. Pelipper can't win in the end. Yeah, so they do go for an attack. They're most likely Sash. But 1 HP versus 4 Pokemon? Good luck, Pelipper. You can make it 3 Pokemon here, but that's still too many. They already burned Terra, so they can't, like, Terra Ghost to get around a Facade turn. In fact, I think I'll even go into Torkoal. Turn off their rain so they can't play with duckies. Uh, I guess... Yeah, I guess the one thing they could have had is, like, a weird move like Muddy Water or Surf. But the sun will prevent that from being too much of a problem. Weather Ball. Facade. GG. Yep, battle is cancelled. Okay, things are looking up. Alright, finally someone with a higher rating than me. Decently higher, I mean. Porygon 2, Glamora, Ursaluna, Tatsugiri, Dondozo, Golden Go. My plan against Dondozo is I need to hit it hard with Armor Rouge and Ursaluna. So it's an Armor Rouge Ursaluna game. Lilligant isn't bad. I could do Lily Cole, but then I don't have Expanding Force. Or I have to drop Ursa Luna. The fact that they have Porygon 2 makes it hard to get up Trick Room. DD Armor Rouge, Torkoal, Ursa Luna is what I usually would go with here. If I get up Trick Room, Torkoal is amazing. I'm really not hating Lily Cole though. Man, why do I want to go Lily Cole so bad? I don't think it's the play. No, I think this is the play. This is the four that I've used in practice to take down Don Dozo. I haven't seen Dondozo plus P2 Ursa Luna in training, though. So if they go with... Oh, that's a cool card. If they just go 
with the four that aren't Dondozo, I brought the wrong four. Doesn't mean I'm- Oh! Oh! Dozo Geary lead? Are you for real? Is it fake? Is that a fake Tatsugiri? No, it's real. Its ability activated second. Is that Tatsugiri slow? I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't know if that does speed order. Because you're not supposed to lead Tatsugiri. You can put Dondozo next to anything else and then make me guess and just bring in Tatsugiri and have a boosted Dondozo on turn one. I guess my fear is Earthquake. I just Terragrass Armor Rouge and set Trick Room with Ndidi. And click Expanding Force. Ndidi, I guess, might go down to a wave crash directly into its face. But I'm more worried about them clicking like Earthquake trying to hit Armor Rouge. They just protect and give me a free trick room. Okay, thank you. I'll take it. Yeah. Cool. I don't understand, but I don't hate it. I guess they did get to bait out Terra, at least. Helping hand... Expand. No Terra from them turn two, that's not a surprise. They must not be, like, Steel. Or Dark. If they were Dark, that would just be such a best of one thing. It should do over half. Oh, just barely over half. And Order of an Armor, that makes sense. We'll eat that, though. Alright, they get some leftovers. I need to click Follow Me Expanding Force. They can pretty easily stall out my Trick Room. I'm gonna see if they are gonna do that. Yeah, they're protecting every other turn. So, next turn I get to Follow Me Attack. It won't knock them out. Then they'll try to protect again and then I get to double Trick Room and set Trick Room back up. That's my plan, at least. Playing the long game. I get it. I mean, with how much damage that did, you want to get some leftovers back. Psychic terrain, they're gonna be able to stall out as well. This turn I follow me and I expanding force because it's my best damage. Okay, looks like Dondozo was, will be almost in range of another one. This time they Earthquake. That does a lot of damage, too. But they are vulnerable to Helping Hand Expanding Force here, so I think I'm going to be able to get the Double Trick Room. Unless they call it. If they call it, good game. Yeah, they do that. Perfect. real question is, does Helping Hand Single Target Expanding Force without Terrain do enough damage? I think it's close. I think it's way too close to call. I did not do enough damage to this thing. Alright. They're gonna Earthquake. I'm gonna see if Helping Hand Expanding Force can do it. Without the terrain, I think it'll be really close. This thing's gonna live on 1 HP, I'm sure of it. Yup! <laughs> oh, come on! And then Earthquake takes us both out. Not the position I want to be in. Okay. 
with only three turns of Trick Room left. They're gonna stall one, two turns of Trick Room to get a few KOs. Might be doable. Alright, um, Earth Power is 90, Weather Ball is 150, plus Stab over 2. Yeah, Weather Ball's stronger. I have to trust that Weather Ball will KO here. They'll probably just protect, so this is a free Swords Dance for Ursaluna. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Weather Ball isn't the strongest, because Eruption is 150 right now, and with Spread, that, that's stronger than Weather Ball. Yeah, that's like 112. So I should be clicking Eruption, and of course also Facade into Dondozo just in case. Uh, I don't know, Eruption might not be enough. This Dondozo has been so annoying. I hope Eruption is enough. And the sword stand doesn't doesn't apply to Don Dozo here, but facade will definitely be enough anyway. Hopefully this eruption can knock out, but this thing has been taking way too many special hits. Oh come on, Don Dozo, why? I get that, I win the game. Oh, and then we get a crit on the one that doesn't matter. They've successfully stalled almost two of our trick rooms now. Uh, but P2 shouldn't have protect. Tracing our drought, that doesn't matter. Last turn of trick room. Of course eruption. Do I think the... Do I think Tatsu has Protect? <clears throat> I'm gonna Facade into Tatsu. It's gonna Terra Ghost, isn't it? Or if it is the P2 Terra Ghost. It's the P2 Terra. Into Fighting Terra Blast. Yikes. Well, as long as Tatsu doesn't protect, I don't hate this. Okay, we lose. <laughs> oh, come on! Don Dozo! Why? That thing was just barely able to take all the hits it needed. Huge damage into Porygon 2 there, but I should have doubled up the Porygon 2, because Tatsu Giri had protect. Yeah, Fighting Terra Blast is going to two-shot our bear. Corporal isn't going to be able to beat. Oh, that's going to almost one-shot our bear with a critical hit. Uh, Wincon. Tatsugiri can't connect a move. And we get to erupt. And then... It doesn't help us too much, but it's something. Tatsugiri connects both muddy waters, though. Alright, yeah, there's nothing we can do there. Oh, that Dondozo was just living. I wonder if it was like a bulky Dondozo. I wonder what I should have done then. If I brought in Ursaluna earlier. Eruption's not gonna do anything. Connected your moves. I'm running this one. Moving on to the next. I had brought in Ursaluna like right away. They did protect turn one, I don't get that. I could have brought in Ursaluna that turn. But I would never have guessed that. GG. Okay, we've got a lot of Pokemon in common. They also have Ursaluna, Torkoal, Indeedee, Armourouche, but they have Gallade and Annihilate, which is probably a final gambit Annihilate. They have some stuff for Lily Cole. Armor Rouge is really annoying to deal with. I actually really like Zoroark. 
But do I want to pretend I'm Lily Cole and bring Zor? Or do I want to pretend I'm indeed the Armor Rouge and bring Zor? If I put Torkoal out in front of Annihilate, Annihilate is going to destroy the Torkoal. No questions asked. So I need to go Indeedee, Fake Armor Rouge, a third Pokemon, Real Armor Rouge. Question is what that third Pokemon needs to be. Lilligant seems okay if they bring their own Torkoal for me. If I can only click Close Combat, it's not great, and that's not great into Armor Rouge. My own Torkoal isn't bad in case Trick Room goes up, but I think Ursaluna, it just has the stats, and since we're min speed, we're actually slower than most of their team with it. So when Trick Room goes up, that could work. If Trick Room goes up. I hope I put those in the right order. Oh, they don't have a trainer card! I don't remember what order I put them in. Did I put Armor Rouge in the right slot? Why do I forget? There's their Ndidi Armor Rouge. And here's my Ndidi. Okay, we're fine. Let's see the speed between the Ndidis. Mine's min speed, so theirs going first doesn't tell us much other than they might not be min speed. We get our Psychic Seed. That might mean they don't have a Psychic Seed. They do have a Psychic Seed, but ours went first. It's speed tying. We're both min. Cool. Helping Hand, Terra Normal, Hyper Voice, Fly Armor Rouge. That's the plan. Indeed, he will definitely take this because of the Psychic Seed boost. But, yeah, that's right, I got Terra Normal Armor Rouge. Deal with it. <laughs> I don't want to get caught by, like, a Shadow Ball or something. Yeah, totally what's happening here. Don't worry about it. They go for follow me, yep, they're probably going to go for Trick Room with Armor Rouge, so we get to keep spamming Hyper Voice. Hopefully we take out the Armor Rouge. I mean, they could be like super bulky or sad, but nope, we take them out with a crit. I don't think the crit was necessary. I've taken out Armor Rouges in one shot with this before. Get out of here. And now here's Gallade. Gallade could Wide Guard, Gallade could Sacred Sword, Gallade could do a lot of things. I'm going to Psychic the Gallade. If they Wide Guard, they're not doing anything, except setting Trick Room. I'm going to Psychic the Gallade, and I'm going to Hyper Voice again. Go ahead and Wide Guard. Oh no, they have Wide Guard. You're just going to set Trick Room and let me get my Armor Rouge in, which is slower than both of your Pokemon. I guess I could have hard swapped Armor Rouge there. Didn't see much of a point though. I assume you want to set Trick Room now. Yeah. Okay. I could totally follow me Hyper Voice here. Would that knock out Gallade, though? Maybe. Then I lose my Ndidi, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. Well, I might lose my Ndidi. I don't know if Gallade can actually knock it out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Worst they can do is Wide Guard and Psychic. Oh, they're gonna swap in something? Poor Cole. Uh, maybe they Wide Guard here, then. No, they didn't wide guard. Love to see that. Ooh, making plays out here with Zor. Psycho cut? Psh, okay. Here, hold this Specs Terra Normal Hyper Voice for me real quick. <laughs> Ooh, damage. All right. That's the kind of damage we like to see. Three turns of Trick Room remain. That's a lot. Uh, Armor Rouge is mostly safe to come in. It can't really be an eruption. They might have Heat Wave, though, here. I'm gonna see if indeed he can take a hit and Psychic their Torkoal. And I'm gonna bring in Armor Rouge. 
Battle's just cancelled. Yeah, what are you gonna do from there? Let's go, Zork. Alright, we've got Rain, Pelipper, Basque Legion, Mousehold, Archaladon, Incineroar, Amoongus. Probably Pop Bomb, Mousehold. I think I need Zorark here. Just to mess with the Pop Bomb, Mousehold. I think it needs to be Indeedy, Zorark, pretending to be Armor Rouge. Gotta have Torkoal in the back for the weather control, and then Armor Rouge, yeah. So I think those are the four I have to do. Zork has trouble breaking through. I mean, they have a ghost. They have a steel. I can maybe click Shadow Ball into their ghost, but then Mousehold might be a problem. So Zork's not going to sweep here. I do need to get Trick Room up. Probably. At some point. They don't have any terrain control, so Armor Rouge feels pretty good on its own. So actually, indeed, the armor rouge seems like a perfectly reasonable lead for me to go with in this into this team. So hopefully, I can trick them up. Is that a shiny Diancie? Is that legal? Could you do that? I don't actually know. I'm, I'm actually asking. I don't know. Incineroar and Mousehold. Okay. I see. You want to pop bomb something. This feels like the pop bombiest of pop bomb turns I've ever seen. And your Incineroar is slower than Indeedee, which is not crazy. Because Incineroar naturally hits like 80, and we're 81? So you have no speed on that Incineroar. Huh. Helping Hand? Terra Normal, because Terra Normal can live a knockoff from. Oh, but then I get pop bombed. <laughs> I'm just going to Helping Hand Hyper Voice. We take out the mouse before it moves. That's perfect. Okay. That's awesome. And they do knock off into Zorak. Ah, that's what the Terra Normal would have been for, to live that. But I think taking out mouse is a big deal. They must have been adamant or not max speed for whatever reason. Now we can indeed the Armor Rouge. And they can... Bring in Basque Legion. Do I have anything against Terra Grass, Follow Me, Trick Room? Because if they try to bring in Pelipper and Wave Crash, we might be able to eat that. If they just go for like a flip turn, we eat that breezily. If they flip turn, they can't Flare Blitz. They probably don't have Flare Blitz on a rain team. Indeed, he's not holding an item, so Knock Off won't do much damage to it when we're not weak to it. Yeah, I think this is the play. This should keep Armor Rouge safe enough to get Trick Room up. Just a Protect from Basque Legion, okay. What's Incineroar gonna do? Show me, like, Parting Shot. It's not off. Yeah, but DD takes that, no problem. Okay, Basque Legion, I'm just going to expand your force while Indeedee distracts Incineroar. Sound fun? Sounds fun to me. Alright, let's do it. Zork getting that KO on Mousehold was huge. I... They had a good lead into it, though. I'm, I'm lucky I was faster. Though if they went Pop Bomb right into that Armor Rouge slot, then it would have been fine anyway. Okay, this finally confirms that Armor Rouge is slower than their Ensign. Oh, are they Sash Basque Legion? No, did they just live that for no reason? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> they, they just, are they a, they can't be a salt test. 
How did you take that expanding force so well? Wave Crash is gonna result in a double knockout. If they have Pelipper last, they come in at the same time as our Torkoal and they get rain and we lose. They must have Pelipper last. They had Flare Blitz this whole time. How did they live expanding force? This game was going so well, and now they're just gonna Pelipper win. How do you, how do you just live expanding force? I'm pulling up the calc right now. Life Orb Expanding Force in Terrain. Oh, we can just live that? Wait, Basket Legion has bulk? Never mind. It was a roll. Ah, yes, rain. Love it. I need to, what, bait Pelipper into clicking, like, Wide Guard here, and then I get a Weather Ball, and the wo Rain Weather Ball does over half, and then I get to finish them off while taking all these hits from Incin, and then that doesn't even do a quarter. <laughs> Oh man! Basket Legion just living on a prayer. Okay. Well, I learned a calc today. What could I have done? Helping Hand Hyper Voice? No, because if they knock off Armor Rouge, I lose Armor Rouge. The weather still happens the same way. Okay, we've got. Ooh, a Jolteon! And a Dragonite, a Moongus. High Dragon, Talonflame, love that combo, and Incineroar. Two Dark types, Psyspam doesn't love that. Only Jolteon, Talonflame are faster than Zor. Lots of fire resistances. Potential for Snarl from High Dragon would be rough. But, I don't hate Indeedee Zor here. Because they don't, probably don't want to set Tailwind. Zork is faster than High Dragon if they want to play Snarl games into Ndidi Armor Rouge. Then I need to figure out my last Pokemon. Ursa Luna is immune to Spore once the burn goes up, which is big. And can Oko, like, the whole team. Except maybe Multi Scale Dragonite. So, yeah, I think it's Ursa Luna here for sure. Torkoal just doesn't seem that strong. Especially when I'm not guaranteed to get Trick Room at all this game. With a Moongus there, not leading Armor Rouge. Torkoal is alright if I were to get Trick Room. But even then, it's not amazing. Ursa Luna would be amazing if I get Trick Room. So that's what I gotta go with. One day it'll be Lilligant's day. That day is not today. Ooh, they got a Jugulus in the Crystal Room. Cool. Very cool. Incin Jolteon. Huh. The Incin is faster than my ND. Okay. I want to go Terra Normal Hyper Voice. But Jolteon could do some damage. I'm a little worried about what Incineroar can do. I should just Terra Grass follow me. I don't think it would be a Flare Blitz. And then I can get a couple big Hyper Voices off. Yeah, that's what I need to do here. As much as I want to go Terra Normal Helping Hand Hyper Voice, it's not the play. That won't KO Incin. Jolteon will get a chance to hit something. And I could just lose my Zora for very little gain. Especially if they have like Sash Jolty on or something. Yeah, Thunderbolt. There's very little to Indeedy, that's perfect. Hyper Voice. And Naka. That's exactly what I was expecting to see. Okay. 
Indeed, he should be able to take the double up, but it might be a Flare Blitz this time. Do I think Zora can take a Thunderbolt? Probably. Does it look like Helping Hand Hyper Voice would knock out Ensign? I don't know. Keeping Zorak around might be worthwhile anyway. So I'm gonna follow me Hyper Voice again. Even though Ensign's gonna be able to live. Ooh, they switched to Shadow Ball. So Zorak wasn't even gonna get targeted by that slot there. Okay. And it is Flipman. Fine. That could have been targeted at Zora too, though. So, Indeedy, you've done great. Now we can eliminate Incineroar. Maybe we can set up Trick Room. They send out High Dragon? That's scary. Ursa Luna can't really do anything this turn. It needs to be Armor Rouge. It's Dragonite. Okay, Dragonite's fine. I like that. I will Expanding Force the D-Knight, and I will Hyper Voice. And I will get Outraged, and I will cry. If I get Outraged on the Armor Rouge slot, I lose Armor Rouge. If I get Outraged on the Zorark slot, I'll wish I set Trick Room. Or will I? It could be a Moongus last. I'm an Expanding Force Hyper Voice. If I can knock out Dragonite in exchange for some big damage, that would be fantastic. Still didn't see a Terra from them. I would expect normal on Dragonite, maybe flying. Okay, it looks like that is Inner Focus Dragonite. And they stomping. It's Choice Band? Well, we live. Doesn't matter. Get out of here, Dragonite. And Armor Rouge has one more turn left in it. Perfect. This should be locked in? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Talon Flame is the last. Oh, okay. That basically cannot touch Armor Rouge because we have Psychic Terrain for two more turns. Because they can't Flare Blitz me, and they can't Brave Bird if they have Gale Wings. Expanding Force. Hyper Voice. Battle is cancelled, GG. Okay, Zorg taking another dub. Let's go. Oh, Snow Team. Frost Moth, Nine Tails, Bax Caliber. They also have the Disc Quake combo of Kilowatt and Garchomp, and just a Golden Go, because Golden Go is Golden Good. Kilowatt faster than Zork. Gotta watch out for that. There's potential for Wide Guard from the Moth. I don't think they have a lot to stop my Trick Room, which is the way I would like to go. Especially with Torkoal to turn off their snow. Disquake lead is very likely, but Armor Rouge with Terra Grass should be able to stomach that. And then finally, Ursa Luna? Lilligant is iffy because I might not win Weather Control and because there's a Golden Go. Zorak last, I don't love. It's gotta be Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna's just so tanky. Sure, it's weak to ice. And if I get the lead call correct, I'm gonna have to burn Terra right away. Ooh, so it could be a rough one. It could definitely be a rough one. Because I think I might have to Terra Grass. And if I have to Terra Grass, I could be in a little trouble. It could also be like Garchomp Ninetales just for like Blizzard Earthquake. Oh, they have no trainer card either. Frostmoth and Kilowattril. Okay. 
I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I'm gonna get Trick Room up. In fact, I think Indeedee can just put Trick Room up on its own. I don't think it needs any... I don't think we need to follow me here. I think Indeedee can get Trick Room up because of our special defense boost. Rouge could get targeted by something. I could expanding force just to see if they go for would they go for wide guard turn one? I doubt it. They might go for Terra though in the face of an armor cannon. So I'm gonna expanding force it toward the kilowatt, but they don't have any terrain control unless they have ice spinner, which I think Frostmoth probably learns, but that's a weird tech. Yeah, they burn Terra right away. There's probably water on the Frostmoth. Oh, is it Terra Blast? Wait a second. I didn't think this through. Could it be Water Terra Blast? That would be pretty bad, actually. They Volt Switch onto the Armor Rouge. That makes sense. Would it be Water Terra Blast, or would it just be Quiver Dance? I would expect Quiver Dance. You're kidding me. Ain't no way. Okay. Okay. We get Trick Room. It's fine. I'm gonna bring in Torkoal, and then I'm gonna hard swap in Ursa Luna and get this game rolling. Oh boy. They already used Terra, which is great. I'm gonna bring in Ursa Luna, and I'm gonna hit this Ninetales swap. Could be Kilowattril, could be Garchomp, I guess. But yeah, I wanna get Ursa Luna out now, so I can have something that can obliterate Frostmoth. And I will weather ball the knife pass. And yeah, I probably get terror blasted on Torkoal, but in the sun it can take that. Wow. I should have seen that coming. Water terror blast is not weird on Frostmoth. <clears throat> but to just throw it turn one, and their last is guard turn. Okay. They go for wide guard. Thank you for wasting a turn. Love it. Show me decent damage from this weather ball. Could have been better. I need to click Facade into Frostmoth. Do I think Terra is enough to boost this Weather Ball enough to take out Garchomp? Because if they switch into Ninetales, it's an ice move. So either way, I'm going to prevent them from getting a hit with Garchomp. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the play. Garchomp swaps. Okay, so I, I should have erupted. <clears throat> but it's fine. So I've got I've got a good position. I've got a few turns of Trick Room left. I've got some big heavy hitters on the field. I can't hit Nine Tails with Eruption until the Moth goes. But they just wide guarded, so they shouldn't be able to successfully protect. Yeah, this is gonna do. It's gonna break a sash if Nine Tails happen. Frostmoth goes down to the facade. Beautiful. They don't have Terra. They don't have wide guard. Eruption is free. And so I click Eruption now, and the game ends. Unless they protect enough until Trick Room is over. Send in your Garchomp. Terra Fire, Eruption. I don't have the Sun anymore. Two turns of Trick Room. Okay. I think I Facade into Garchomp and click Eruption. That should be enough to take out Ninetales. Yeah, you're probably going to be able to protect out. Does Ninetales also have it? Yes. So you go for a double protect next turn with both. See if you can get something to survive. 
And if you can, that's huge for you. But if I take just one of these, I think I'm in a great position. My Ndidi is also at full health, so I might even be able to put Trick Room back up at some point. Uh, Facade Garchomp, Click Eruption. Please don't get the Double Protect on either. Double Protect on both? They have a good chance of still winning this game. Double Protect on just one of them? Okay, Garchomp doesn't get it. And Ninetales doesn't get it. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh. And yeah, without the sun, that wasn't quite enough to take Garchomp. I guess I could have Ice Weather Ball the Garchomp, but I was more confident in Facade taking out Garch. Like, this combo is definitely going to take them both out. Whereas if I Ice Weather Ball that, and then I have to Facade the Ninetales, and the Ninetales is super defensively bulky with the Snow Boost, maybe it lives. I don't want to eat a blizzard for my troubles. And I don't see Kilowattril winning this. We've got an Ice Weather Ball for it. We've got a Facade coming its way. It could be Sash. Probably is. Facade. Ice type Weather Ball. Battle's just cancelled. Yeah, they know they can't do anything. GG. They might only have electric moves. But, uh, go get a trainer card, please. Alright, we've got... Basculegion, Pelipper, Golden Go, Sneasler, Rillaboom, and Murkrow. Fast team they got there. Gonna need Trick Room. They're gonna bring Rillaboom, they're gonna bring Pelipper. Those are facts. Do I have anything good for Zora to do? They have a couple Shadow Ball targets. That could be fun. Indeedy plus Zorak, pretending I'm Armor Rouge. Then I have to bring Torkoal because it's a Rain Squad. And if they lead something like Basque Legion, I can bring in the Sun and Shadow Ball them down, and they're gone. That sounds fun. Get a cheeky KO right away. Make it less... Because, like, it's going to be a rough game. They've got terrain control that I hate. They've got weather control that I hate. They've got strong Pokemon. Yeah, Ursaluna's weak to, like, everything they have, except Golden Go, so it's not Ursaluna. Lilligant doesn't touch Golden Go or Sneasler. And it can only hit Basculegion if the sun is up. So these are the correct four. I think it's definitely a Zorark game. Now, will Zorark work? I don't know. This is one of those games where I'd rather be Life Orb Zorark than Spex, but... Ah, Fluttermane. Keep that thing out of VGC. It's a fine card, though. Basculegion, Golden Go. All right, Shadow Ball time. I guess my one fear... They wouldn't bring in Pelipper here. I should be able to Shadow Ball something. I think I'll try to set Trick Room with Indeedee even. Shadow Ball the Basque Legion. Shadow Ball the Golden Go might be better. Armor Rouge is a little more free then. Must be it must be Rillaboom and Pelipper in the back. I'm gonna Shadow Ball the thing that resists Torkoal's eruptions. They're gonna burn Terra. Golden Go? Yeah, good. Good, I didn't Shadow Ball that one. So I should be able to Shadow Ball, eliminate Basque Legion, unless there's Scarf Golden Go. Okay, no. Here comes Shadow Ball. Basque Legion doesn't run Sash. Get out of here. 
And now if you take out my Zorark, but not my Ndidi, and I get Trick Room, I'd be very happy. If you take out both, I am not happy. Oh, Ndidi, that easy. Yep, I was not an Armor Rouge, sorry. I hope that's okay. Alright, if I bring in Torkoal now, they can bring in Pelipper now. So they probably bring in Rillaboom now. Either, either way, I have to bring in Armor Rouge here. Oh, they don't have Bolt. Oh, they have Murkrow. Maybe their Murkrow has Rain Dance? This is a little bit awkward. I need to eliminate the Golden Ghost slot, one way or another. If they stay in or set rain, Psychic Armor can't... Uh, psychic plus Expanding Force might do it? Yeah, because if they go into Pelipper, that takes them out. If they stay in, Make It Rain doesn't do too much damage. Expanding Force does a ton of damage, I love that. You get your Make It Rain, but that's not going to take any KOs here. Beautiful. So now Psychic, your Golden Go, and... Maybe it's bring in Torkoal. And armor cannon your Murkrow? <laughs> I don't hate that. Oh, I don't know, this is tough. It depends on who they have last. I think I follow me with Ndidi. No. Bring in Torkoal. Armor Cannon to delete Murkrow. Because if I can delete Murkrow, I guess they could go for... They could call this in Rain Dance. They could... Shadow Ball my Armor Rouge, finally. Golden Go Protect. Oh, I love that. Yeah, if I can get this Armor Cannon to take out this Murkrow, please. That's huge. Love it. Thank you. I will take that deal. Even if you have Pelipper last, this is perfectly okay. Yeah. Because what are you going to do, Wide Guard? Wide Guard forever? Two turns of Trick Room left. Weather Ball onto Golden Go is free. And then I can expand and course Pelipper, unless you wide guard. Which you do, so you waste a turn, fine. And Golden Go's gone. Alright. Can Pelipper win this long term? Not if I get Torkoal out. If I swap Torkoal out and you eventually lose weather, you're in big trouble. Yeah, I can bring in Didi here. I don't actually want the Psychic Terrain anymore, so bringing in Didi is fine. And then I want you to attack me. Like, come on, do it. Let me expanding force your Pelipper down to Sash. If you just wide guard again, then I can follow me Trick Room. No, you don't go for wide guard. The only thing that can lose me the game is like Surf. Surf, you take out both of my Pokemon here, and then you get ducks on the on the Torkoal. But nope, you just let it ball. Perfectly fine by me. I got two Pokemon, and either one of them can do one HP damage. I 
guess you could have muddy water and go for accuracy drops now. Is that, that that's your only play. Just in case they wide guard, I can't click both spread moves. It doesn't matter. I have weather ball. They already burned Terra, right? Yeah. Weather ball. Expanding force is actually single target now anyway. You have to go for Hurricane, but Torkoal's gonna finish them off. Maybe they were hoping for Protect Trick Room play there? That makes sense. I don't have Protect on my Torkoal, and I didn't care to set Trick Room. You have one HP. But that would be the way I throw. GG. Get out of here, Pelipper. Thinking you could wide guard. <laughs> I mean, you successfully wide guard. It didn't help. Uh, GG. Thank you for having a trainer card. Okay, we've got Rain here, but it's with Pelipper. Not Pelipper. That's what I meant to say. Politoed, our Jaladon. And Palafin, Incineroar, Whimsicott, and Grimmsnarl. Two fairy supports. Okay. I can totally see them bringing Palafin, but like... Man, there's so much rain in this meta. <sighs> Depending on Incineroar... I mean, Armoru should be slower than Incin, but they've got two Dark types and a Steel. Armorouge feels a little rough. Zorark? Zorark seems really fun. Zorark seems fun here. Yeah, I, I like Zorark here. I like Indeedee Zorark. I think I need Torkoal just for their rain. And then Armorouge last. Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna seems okay, actually. But I would also need Torkoal, so I could just go full Trick Room Squad. It doesn't seem bad. They don't seem to have terrain control. Maybe it's not Zorak here. Maybe it's indeed Armor Rouge. Torkoal Ursa Luna. Because Ursa Luna in the sun just goes insane here. Oh, just Oko's everything left and right. I guess they could put up Reflect. They can Intimidate with their Incineroar if they position it right, but I don't know. And they have a Trainer card. Good for you. What's your lead? What's your lead? What's your lead? Incineroar Bridge. Okay. I can get Trick Room. Your Incineroar is faster than Indeedee, and therefore my entire team. Uh, I'm not willing to let Armourouche get hit. So I need to follow me and Trick Room. And then we'll decide how we're going to get through the rest of this team. I could see... Helping Hand, Aura Sphere onto something. I don't think that KOs Incin. Probably doesn't KO Arch if it's AV. They do have Rain, so I don't expect a sturdy Power Herb here, but it's possible. Their Incineroar has Protect. They're worried about Meteor Beam. They miss a Draco Meteor. Okay, uh, free Trick Room, thanks. I'll take that, and I will run with it. If you're willing to pop Draco here, I'm more worried about Incin. So I'm gonna follow me. Or a Sphere the Incineroar. That seems fine. Do some damage to it, see what its bulk looks like. And I know they have some speed on it. Oh, they're gonna swap it? Are they going to go for an uh, Electro Shot here? Quaxo. That is Politoed. Okay. I don't mind getting an Aura Sphere into a Politoed. That might put them in the Expanding Force range. Or would they hard swap out here? No, they just go for another Draco Meteor onto a DD. Which crits? Okay. That's great. That gets me a free swap into Torkoal, actually. I was upset for a second, but no, that's okay. I'm gonna bring in Torkoal. 
I'm gonna click a gnarly eruption. And I'm gonna bring in Ursaluna, because we got Trick Room. Only two turns to swing with Ursaluna, better use them well. I'm gonna erupt. I expect the Politoed to swap. Erupt, bring in Ursaluna. It could be a double swap even. Armourouge leaves the field first. That makes sense. They could they should both just be faster in Pokemon. Then the Arch leaves. Oh, is Politoed staying in? Into Incin. That's a, I, I did expect Incineroar to come back in. So I do get intimidated on Ursaluna. It's whatever. Politoed stayed in. Oh, that's huge eruption damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, I crit the Incin. Okay. Politoed knows rest. Okay. Good night, Quaxo. You got Chesto Besto? No. You just you just go to sleep? Is that it? Okay. Terra Fire eruption this time, just to make sure Incin goes away. Two turns of Trick Room left still? Okay. Yeah, Terra Fire Eruption. <coughs> Sword Stance with Ursaluna. Get my attack stat back. I don't really need to click Facade this turn. Our Chaladon could come in, for example, but that's not, not going to appreciate a Sun Boosted Eruption. Okay, now Politoed swaps. <coughs> Into their final Mon, Olangar. Group Snarl. Okay, that's really not gonna like this fire eruption. And then if all they have left is Politoed who's asleep. I do have a lot of water weaknesses, I gotta watch out for that. They go for a fake out, eh, it doesn't, yeah, no, can't do that. Unless I went Terra Flying, then you could. Eruption gets the double KO. We have one more turn of Trick Room. I think I need to use it to get rid of Politoed. Yeah. And maybe it might be in my best interest to not hit the Archalot on this turn. I can get Sun back later. Yeah. The Politoed would be able to sleep talk, but it won't be able to sleep talk until after we hit it with a plus one burn facade. They have Terra potentially. But I would see that coming out from Arch more than Politoed. So I'm happy to swap in Armourouge. This is the last turn of Trick Room and Psychic Terrain. But I need my weather back. I'm gonna bring in Armourouge. And yeah, the way I lose this is they sleep talk and they call Muddy Water and they get a double KO. So I'm going to facade the Politoed. But then once I get Rain back, I should be able to maybe handle this Arch. I can't see them knocking out all of my Pokemon and then still having Arch ready. Yeah, Politoed goes. Bye. Still no Terra. Okay, Electro Shot onto Armor Rouge is a little annoying. But we're still going to have a 2v1 scenario. Even if Armor Rouge were to go down to this. Which we don't. So now you have to Draco my Ursa Luna. But you also have to worry about me setting Trick Room back up. Uh, here's where you Terra into what? Grass? I don't want to boost their defense. I'm going to Swords Dance in Trick Room. Okay, they, they throw a Draco Meteor and let me get Trick Room. That's perfect. GG. <laughs> huh. 
I guess I could have protect Trick Room there. But then I would be in mostly the same spot. I just needed to be in a position where I could hit this thing twice without it. Like, if I went for Headlong Rush and they went Terra Grass and took out my Armorous there, then they have plus one defense. I don't get Trick Room. They can then knock out a Draco Torkoal, maybe take a hit from my Ursa Luna, and then maybe KO my Ursa Luna with Body Press at that point. That's the condition I was trying to avoid. So I'm going to click Armor Cannon Eruption? Would they have a Terra that resists fire? It doesn't matter, because they're only going to be able to get one KO in return. These are just... I'm just going to click my strongest moves, and the Archaladon is going to go away. I, I really want to know what your Terra is. Can you please show me? I'm also curious if your stamina, so don't quit. Like, if it was sturdy this whole time, I was thinking too hard. Well, it's not sturdy. Goodbye. <laughs> and we don't get to see the Terra either. I, I guess it was just grass. If it was grass. I think they should have gone for it earlier, though. Anyway, GG. Here we've got Mouseate, Peli Arch, and Rillaboom Sneasler. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I'm terrified of what the Mouseate is going to be. Because if it's real Mouse Ape, they shouldn't bring it. If it's fake Mouse Ape, we could be in big trouble. The problem is they want Rillaboom and they want Pelipper to stop my terrain and weather. So maybe they just don't bring Mouse Ape. But do they lead Sneasler Archaladon? That would be weird and awkward. I think Ndidi Armor Rouge is fine. I don't love Zorg here. It, it's good to scare them in Team Preview, but I don't want to break it. They have Wide Guard, they have a Ghost, they have a Steel. Hyper Voice Spam does not do great here. Mouse Hold is faster. If they lead Mouse Hold, I'm in huge trouble. Just saying. If they lead Mouse Ape and it's fake Mouse Ape, they just Gambit, Pop Bomb, done. But you have to call that I don't have Zorg to do that, which is risky. Uh, then I have Torkoal, of course. Uh, Sneasler completely walls Lilligant and can't even be faster, so it's Ursa Luna last. If I preserve Terra for Ursa Luna, it's really good. Be able to dodge a body press, a close combat, live a wood hammer, live a weather ball. Good trainer card. Taking a picture with your friend. Maybe even dodge a pop palm if it comes to that. Ah, they're gonna boost their defense with pop bomb. And they're gonna dare me to follow me the pop bomb. Okay. I need trick room so bad. I need to follow me. I need to trick room. Uh don't think they would Terra Electro Shot. I want to resist the body press, if it's that. If they Pop Bomb into- if Pop Bomb goes into Ndidi, they knock out Ndidi. If Draco can knock out Armor Rouge, we just lose on the spot. But at least saving Terra for Ursa Luna is the way. They do have to fear a little bit about I might have Zora. Oh, it's just beat up? Oh! Oh, I love that. Oh, you don't have Pop Mom, do you? That's decent damage, though. That feels like Technician to me. And Body Press. Yeah, fine. Thanks. Love it. Uh, I think I want to hard into Torkoal here. Get the ball rolling. Uh, do I? No, because if I hard into Torkoal and they have Pelipper, that's annoying. I could hard into Ursa Luna. 
but I might be taking a body press for my troubles. Either way, I click Expanding Force into the mouse here. And into the mouse specifically in case Rillaboom comes in. I don't want to see Rillaboom come in and then I hit Arch Heladon. This is Rillaboom. Back hit Pan. Pelipper. Oh, cool. Electro shot my bear, please. Buy most of Pelipper's health. Yeah, it's sad. Like normal. You get your one stamina. Uh, I wonder if Burned Headlong Rush can take it. I hope this is just into the Ndidi slot, but it should be into the Armor slot, honestly. I don't know why you would target down Ndidi there. But they did. Thanks. Alright, Pelipper could be annoying with Wide Guard or Terra Ghost to avoid Ursaluna. I think I'm going to Terra Ghost my Ursaluna, throw Headlong Rush, which would go before Expanding Force anyway. I think I will Expanding Force. I don't think they have Wide Guard. And if they click Wide Guard, I don't know if I'm too worried about it. Because they would probably try to Body Press in this position. And so, like, they burn a turn of my stuff, but I get to bait out their Terra, maybe. They have Wide Guard, but they didn't Terra the bridge. At plus one and, and some taking some damage, you think you're going to take this? Because you don't. <laughs> I'm fine with Pelipper staying on the field in that case. That is cool. That was a critical hit, but I don't think it mattered. The fact that they're preserving Terra is a little annoying. Because Mouse could be Ghost, Pelipper could be Ghost. So Facade is not safe. I could bring in Torkoal. Pelipper can still has, has the chance to swap. Yep, that is the mouse. I think I want to headlong rush into the mouse. Who could they swap in? Do they have Sneasler or Rillaboom or Annihilate? I want to headlong rush the mouse. I want to click Expanding Force. If you want to keep wide guarding, do I have extra turns of Trick Room? I have two turns of Trick Room. I'm willing to throw another Expanding Force into Pelipper. If you want to keep Wide Guarding forever, you do. Okay. Uh, hopefully I can knock out Mouse with Headlong Rush. Yeah, because as long as Pelipper stays on the field, now that I've gotten two KOs, I can take Weather Control. So whatever you have last, it's about to take a Sun-boosted Armor Cannon. Like, oh, you stopped my expanding forces this whole time. Good job. But you're only protecting yourself. And you had Rillaboom. Okay, so you didn't want to bring in Rillaboom. I have minus two defense here. I also have Indeedee. Last turn of Trick Room. I'm gonna facade the Rillaboom and bring in... Indeedee first. Facade can KO some Rillabooms. Pelipper, I don't know, he might just wide guard again. Who knows? 
And I want to avoid getting grassy glided. Yeah, he just wide grass again. I want to avoid getting grassy glided on my minus two or Salona. So that's why I brought up Psychic Terrain. Facade. Does it. Perfect. Game over. GG. Dimensions return to normal, but like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna what, Terra Ghost Weather Ball my Indeedy? That's your play. Let's see if you can click it. <laughs> yep, they can't click it. All right. <laughs> they just they committed to wide guard, and I was fine with it. GG. Here we've got a Don Dozo. It's the standard Palmot, Talonflame, Golden Go Dragonite, Dozo Geary. Against this, I usually want to do Indeedee, Arm Rouge, Ursa Luna. I guess Torkoal's fine. If they lead with Outrage, I can redirect it and get a free swap. The main problem with Don Dozo is that it can stall out Trick Room so effectively. And I don't have a I don't have a win button. Like I didn't I had clear smog at one point on this team, but I ended up dropping it. Lily Cole could be a problem because Talonflame, Fake Out, Dragonite on its own. Just a free swap into Don Dozo. Yeah. Lily Cole isn't bad in here, honestly. Lilligant could threaten Don Dozo, make it try to go Terra Grass, and then it's weak to Eruption. But it's hard to position correctly. Ooh, cool card. Very cool. Well done. Dragonite Town playing. Yeah, Lily Cole would have not done anything here. My biggest fear is Earthquake Dragonite. I don't know if it will be Earthquake Dragonite, but that is my fear. So I'm going to click Follow Me. I'm going to click Terra Grass Trick Room. Talonflame can't Brave Bird me this turn. They can't Flare Blitz into Armor Rouge. Talonflame shouldn't be able to knock out Indeedee under any circumstances. That would be insane. Maybe like Terrafire Choice Banish Light Blitz? I don't know. That still probably doesn't do it. No Terra from either of them. Talonflame does have Taunt. Which is fine. Uh, they have Ice Spinner Dragonite. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. And I put up Trick Room. Here, they have Brave Bird Pressure now, which is the one annoying thing. And because I Terraed and they had Ice Spinner, they can lock into a good move into Arm Rouge. Very annoying. I think I need to bring Ursa Luna and Torkoal in right now. And if I and if they get the, the right call and they ice spinner the Ursa Luna, I'm a little in trouble. But I think they would ice spinner into the Armor Rouge slot. They might Brave Bird into either slot, but I think the ice spinner is going at what is now Torkoal. Okay, good. The Brave Bird was into Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna takes that quite well. The Ice Spinner was into Torkoal. Beautiful. Thank you. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. Facade the Dragonite slot. And just click Eruption. That way they can't bring in Golden Go. And I break the multi scale with my eruption. Talonflame should live the turn, but it's not the most threatening thing in the world. 
Flare Blitz into Ursa Luna will do a lot, though. If it has Flare Blitz. Dragonite swaps. What's your safe swap? Tatsugiri? <clears throat> oh, that is Tatsugiri! Oh, I got the slot wrong. <clears throat> well, that's a little annoying. If I had facaded into... Uh, they, they knew they, I wouldn't facade into Talonflame. So they, they made a good play there. They made the right play. Eruption should still do something. That's pretty decent. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Now they probably protect here. No question about it. And Sword Stance does nothing against an unaware Don Dozo, so I have nothing better to do than click Facade and swap out. Into Armor Rouge, who can do some big who can at least threaten some big damage. If they read this and like wave crash into my bear, then I get Okay, yeah, they just protect me. Fine. don't have the Psychic Terrain, but I think Facade plus Expanding Force does way more than a Psychic Terrain boost would give me, so I'm not going to bring in Indeedee yet. This is the last turn of Trick Room. Armor Rouge can hopefully get one up next turn. Uh, I think they should probably then order up into my Armor Rouge. Facade. Expanding Force. Huge damage with Facade. Expanding Force, what can you do? Bring it very, very low. It is order up into my armor. Okay. Now they absolutely have. They have to go after my armor rouge. With order up, right? Because Arm Rouge can set Trick Room and sweep them. I could give them Indeedee. Or would I rather try for the Trick Room and give them Armor Rouge? If I'm gonna give them something and not get Trick Room up, it might as well be Armor Rouge. Okay, they do just do the exact play I expected. But I get to take Don Dozo in exchange for Trick Room. Getting rid of Don Dozo is a big deal. Now I have Follow Me pressure. Follow Me that also has Trick Room. The sun being gone is annoying, though. Oh, that's really annoying. That's terrible timing. Because now Muddy Water is a real threat. They just put in Dragonite. They're going to hit Indeedee with the Dragonite. We can take an Ice Spinner, though. So we have to send in Torkoal to put the Sun up and try to get Trick Room. We can take Muddy Water plus whatever move Dragonite decides to lock into, or if Dragonite targets the Ursa Luna. Maybe we're okay. They might just lock Outrage here, hoping I follow me, but I'm not going to follow me, so that could go into Torkoal. Muddy Water. Accuracy drop on Torkoal is annoying. But Outrage goes into Torkoal? That's exactly what I wanted to see. How can I 
win this now? Can I win this now? Is the real question. If Dragonite has multi-scale, they just eat a facade and I lose. I need to facade the Dragonite and live or dodge a Muddy Water. I need them not to be multi-scale. If I just follow me the Outrage and take out Tatsugiri, then I have to deal with a Brave Bird plus Outrage next turn. I cannot take that. So my only play is hope they're not multi-scale. Hope Muddy Water doesn't take out or something. Okay, that's an Inner Focus Dragonite, and it's gone. We get our Psychic off into the Tatsu. Does a little under half. Muddy Water double connects. Ursaluna hangs on. 34 down to 21. That does 13 damage. We can take two more turns of burn. Preserve Terra this long. Is it Ghost Talonflame? I think I facade Tatsugiri. I think Tatsugiri's locked. Facade there and just follow me. Make sure they hit Indeedee with Talonflame, and then I get to hit it next turn. Show me this is Ghost Talonflame, please. I can win against Ghost Talonflame. Okay, I did not fall for it. If they have Protect, they can still win. If they have Protect, they would have gone for it this turn, right? We take out Tatsugiri. We have one more turn of burn remaining. Talonflame should take out Indeedee here. And if they have Protect, they just Protect and we lose the game. Otherwise, Headlong Rush can take them out. Down to the absolute wire. 8 HP remaining. All comes down to do they have Protect. They're not going to be able to stall Trick Room, but they just have to stall my HP. They don't have to stall Trick Room. Come on. Headlong Rush! Boom! Goodbye, Talonflame! Oh, that was intense. Oh, wow. That was really intense. That came so down to it. I thought I had lost. Oh, wow. Everything went my way there. Good game. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, Mail and Didi plus Delphox. Whimsicott. Mouse Ape. Sneasler? Oh, it must be Psychic Seed Sneasler. Okay. I've seen that trio before with Mail and Didi, Del Fox, Sneasler. They probably have Imprisoned Trick Room. And Sneasler is super fast compared to Lilligan. They might not be invested fast enough to catch Lilligan, but it is a huge threat. I think Indeedy Zorark is my game plan here. If they end up going with like Pop Bomb Mouse, it's good. If they try to imprison, they're in for a shock. We're also faster than Delphox, importantly. And then I just need to pick something and then Arm Rouge. Torkoal, if I get Trick Room up, is so good. I don't know if I'm going to get Trick Room up, though. And then there's Ursa Luna. Everything else I have other than Armor Rouge suffers from Psy Spam. I guess I shouldn't worry about Psy Spam. I should worry about, like, Sneasler and Mouse Ape. Will I be able to save Terra? No. So I want Torkoal and Armor Rouge. Nope. Nope, nope. I want Ursa Luna and Armor Rouge. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. The last one is so hard because I don't see myself getting Trick Room, so I don't know if Torkoal's the way. But Ursa Luna has a couple weaknesses. They've got strong special attackers. They have Sneasler. That's a trainer card. That's fine. 
Uh, it's, it's a hard call. I just, I didn't want Lilligan. Once again. Indeedy Sneasler. Fine. This is okay. You're going to imprison. And you're going to maybe Terra Dark your Sneasler. I cannot deal with you going Terra Dark throat chop into my, my Armor Rouge. I burn Terra. I click follow me. I don't think that I get the K double KO. I think Indeedee's probably Sash. And I don't think I get the KO on plus one Sneasler with Terra. So I don't think I the Terra helps me at all here. I'm gonna follow me, and I'm gonna Hyper Voice. They're gonna Terra Dark the Sneasler, because they're afraid of my expanding force. But that doesn't make sense. Because if they're going to imprison, they would imprison the expanding force anyway. Now that I think about it. I guess they could be worried about Psychic from my Ndidi, though. Or maybe they're not going for that. Or they just want Throat Chop damage. Could be that simple. Ndidi eats. Thank you, Ndidi. Big Hyper Voice and Imprison. Thank you. Now let's see if you have Hyper Voice. I can't see if you have Hyper Voice until I click. Oh, this is a big mistake. I have to click Fight with Zorok to find out. I put Specs on the right. You're supposed to put Specs on the left. Because if, if, if Hyper Voice is imprisoned by that Ndidi, I will struggle before I get a chance to pick. Okay, thank goodness I can Hyper Voice. Yeah, follow me, Terra Normal Hyper Voice takes them both out. Sneezler can get a hit off onto Ndidi, take out Ndidi, and then Terra Normal Hyper Voice will have enough of a boost to, to get the double KO. They don't have Terra anymore, so there's no ghosts coming. And Zorik should take the 3-2 lead. Sneezler just protects, that's smart. But that means I get to keep Ndidi one more turn. So I'm not sure how much that gets you. If you send in something faster than Zork that can take it out, maybe. If you have max speed pop bomb mouse left. Wait, that's really bad. Uh, Whimsicott, I'm not too worried about. Annihilate could be gambiting. Or it just could be a normal ape. Which might even be scarier. Maybe I try to trick room and bring in Armor Rouge here? I don't hate that. Yeah, because if they go for Final Gambit, they go for Final Gambit, I'll take the trade. They throat chop in DD and try to like drain punch or bulk up with their ape. Ooh, they close combat. That's huge. There's no way they click a ghost move. They double close combat on the armor rouge swap in. Let's go! Oh, let's totally go. Oh my goodness. Wow! That's beautiful. And they have close combat annihilate. Close Combat Annihilate typically doesn't run Protect. So I'm gonna follow me, and I'm gonna expand that Annihilate's force. I'm gonna expand his force off. No really safe swap-ins, except I guess you have one, but like, whatever. Um, no, I'm not gonna follow me. I'm gonna turn up the tempo. I'm gonna bring in Ursa Luna. Oh, if you Close Combat in DD here, that's bad. Yeah, I'll follow me. Expanding Force their Annihilate. Annihilate does swap. Is it Delphox last? It could be. It is. Okay. And no Protect from Sneasler. Alright. Was it a close combat though? And Expanding Force is still gonna do damage to Delphox. This isn't gonna- you aren't- you're not gonna shrug this off like it's nothing. That does almost half. 
That's resisted. Okay, it was just a little chop. Well, first Luna time. Bear with me. <laughs> Headlong rush the Delphox, and Armor Cannon is 120 plus 1.5, 180. Aura Sphere is 80 times 2, 160. Armor Cannon does more damage to Sneasler. So that's the button we click. No Protects coming out. I think Life Orb Armor Cannon can finish Sneasler from there. After what specs Hyper Voice without Terra did. Da -da 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 -da. Math, math, math. I think it'll be with KO. I guess it. Oh no, it close combated. It has a defense prop. Yeah, we're fine. It's got KOs for sure. Let's get out of here. And now the ape, I think it's Scarf. It could be Assault Vest. I've seen Assault Vest on this style of team before. But either way, it's not going to be able to stop me. Doing great. Terrain disappears. Alright, Armor is a little weaker. Whatever. You're still not gonna take a burned headlong rush plus a super expected. I can't even say it. It's so much damage that it hurt my tongue trying to say it. We're gonna click this button. We're gonna check the trick room turns. Two more. More than enough. Expand the force. Headlong rush enough on its own? Yes, it is, because Ursaloon is just that good. I love this bear. I haven't been bringing Lilligant much. I wonder if that was the thing. I don't know. GG. All right, we've got... Yo, that's so cool. Okay, coolest team I've seen so far. This is battle number 14, and, it, and they already win. Hydrapple, Copperaja, Kilowattrel, Venonat, Golduck, Rhyperior. I have no idea what I'm doing against this. They have slower Pokemon than me, but no Trick Room setters. I don't know what that means, but their Pokemon are slower than mine, except Torkoal. I actually don't know Venonat's speed, and I have a minute to find out. Venonat is faster than Torkoal. Okay. Uh, I guess we set Trick Room, bring in Torkoal. No. Is this a Lily Cole game? Oh, they have very little to stop Lily Cole. Their only redirector is Rage Powder, and that doesn't affect Lilligant. Perfect. And DD Armor Rouge also seems solid. I don't really want Zorg here. They have a Steel and a Rock type. Hydrapple definitely has the bulk to take on a hit from Zorg as well. I want to respect the Venonat. I guess Golduck could turn off weather. I gotta be careful about that. It could be a Cloud9 Golduck. But since I only have 10 seconds left, I'm not gonna change my whole battle, battle plan based on that. Which might not come up. Because if I don't have weather, sure, I can't use my grass move. But Torkoal can still do some damage. Oh, that's a cool card too. Alright, show me what cool text you got that I'm not expecting. Rhyperior Kilowattrel. Okay. I want to go for a grass move, but Golduck could be a threat. I think I just go for Eruption. Okay, if I after you erupt, they both live, because Kilowattrel Sash. They what, like, Air Slash Earthquake? They Discharge Earthquake. Uh, I think I will, I think I'm willing to go for the Solar Blade. I think I'm gonna Weather Ball Kilowattrel, and I think I'm gonna risk the Solar Blade into Rhyperior. Yeah, I, I do get to do it. Fine. Whew. I was a little worried about Gold Duck, but I guess maybe I shouldn't have been too worried about Gold Duck. It might not even be Cloud9. Get out of here, Rhyperior. That's why this lead is so scary, because you gotta know what to do. If I went after you Eruption, and there's Sash 
and then they're gonna go Air Slash plus like Earthquake. I could have lost both of my Pokemon without taking a KO. Yeah, they are Sash too. Cool. I think the rest of the board is clear to after you eruption. They might bring in Golduck here. Let's see if they had Cloud9 at all. Oh, they did have Cloud9. Yikes. That could have been really scary. Eruption should still do decent damage. Weather Ball won't. They might even have a priority move to hit Lilligant with. Did they get like Aqua Jet? Oh, I think I want to Terrifier Eruption. I don't want to Terrifier. I want to just click Eruption. <clears throat> and try to after you Torkoal. Okay, Gold Jug just protects. And they go for the Discharge, yep, because they're faster because of the sun being off. Fine. I'm still gonna take your Kilowatt from here. Ooh, unless Torkoal gets full Parrot. That would be annoying. Okay, good. Weird tech moves Golduck might have is what scares me the most. I think I want to bring in Indeedy? Or do I want to bring in Armor Rouge? I could just bring in Armor Rouge and then pull Indeedy in if I want to click Expanding Force. And there's Hydrapple. Okay. I want to click Expanding Force. And I also want to Terra Grass, I think. Just to take any hit this gold that can do. Especially considering it can now hydro pump me and there's no sun to stop it. I mean, the sun's there, but Golduck turns off the sun. You know how it works. Or maybe you don't know how it works. The way it works is that the sun stays, but as long as Golduck is on the field with Cloud9, the sun counts as not being there. So it'll still count down like normal, you can still set it up like normal, but your eruption doesn't get a boost, chlorophyll doesn't activate, can't use Solar Blade in one turn. I don't want a Trick Room, because Hydrapple's probably just slower than my Armor Rouge anyway. And I really want to get rid of this Gold Up. Alright, Indeedy. Set the field. Here's where they pull out the, uh, Hypnosis. Now that I have uh, an evasion drop, <laughs> they just hypnosis my armor rouge here. Watch. Watch, it's exactly what they're gonna do, too. That's what I would do with this kind of team. They got combos here. They got Cloud9 to stop my weather. They had a Discquake lead. Fortunately, I made the right play turn one. Hydro Pump. Ooh, wrong slot. Okay. I didn't need to Terra then. And yeah, we are just faster than Hydra. Golduck gone? Golduck gone. Okay. Feeling much better now. As long as Armor Rouge lives this turn, we got this game. Pickle Beam. Oh, they're going all out. Maybe Armor Rouge doesn't live this turn. Critical hit going all out. No! <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. If they have Terra Dark, they can win this game. Uh, I guess I could follow me and use a fire move, but there's no guarantee that I ever get the fire move off. Well, I should be faster. I should be able to Psychic. And then I'll click Weather Ball as well. Yeah, if they're Terra Dark, just become immune to Psychic and knock out my Torkoal, I lose. Terra Steel. So a few Psychics should be able to knock you out. But I really hope Torkoal just eats a hit. Yeah, one more Psychic will do it, so it's fine. Pickle Beam. Torkoal is down. Yikes. And my other play was to use Follow Me plus a Fire move, but Torkoal could have been paralyzed for the rest of the game, so I felt like Psychic was a better play. I don't think Terra Dark Hydrapple is a thing, but if it was, yeah, I would have lost there to Terra Dark Hydrapple. 
props to my opponent. They got a super weird team, but they brought this so close. After a huge play from me, turn one, to take out the Rhyperior. Like, like they had they made a read there that I wouldn't do that, but I did, and they still almost got it. GG. Here we've got a scary team. Mouseate, Peli Arch, Como O, and Sinistra. I love Sinistra. Don't know if I love fighting Sinistra. One thing I do notice right away is they don't have terrain control. So doing something with terrain is the way. I also notice Zork is pretty useless. They have Wide Guard, two Ghosts, a Steel type, and a Mon that might just be soundproof. So Zork is useless. Lily Cole is never the play if they have Pelipper, because they'll never lead it, they'll just put it in the back, and if you put in Lily Cole, they'll just send in Pelipper. So the only reasonable lead I have left is in DD Armor Rouge with Torkoal Ursaluna in the back. It's solved for me. The one problem here is Ursaluna cannot touch Sinistra. But everything else can so well that I'm not sure it's an issue. Lilligant wouldn't help. Zorark can knock out Sinistra. However, like I said before, I don't want to bring Zorark. And I would be bringing it in the back because I don't want to lead it at all. And if I bring it in the back, then it disguises itself as Torkoal and doesn't set the sun, and then they're like, hey, wait a minute. So it's it's rough. I think Ursaluna's fine here. Ursaluna is absolutely fine against everything that isn't Sinister. It also looks like they ran out of time, but yeah, they probably didn't. And anything you selected already when you run out of time, you still get. Ooh, no trainer card, boo. I hope you did run out of time. Arch 8. This doesn't seem so bad. Should be able to get Trick Room at least. They could final Gambit. They could self U-turn or something. Or self beat up to try to get some stamina boosts. give them boosts. Uh, I'm gonna click follow me and I'm gonna click trick room. That's the play. That's 100% the play here. I am scared of all the options they have. How I lose this. Final Gambit into Indeedy. Take out Indeedy. Meteor Beam Power Herb from our Chaladon. Oko's my Armor Rouge. There is nothing I can do to come back from that if they have Pelipper in the back. So there is a combination of things here. It's a rare combination. Like, Final Gambit is reasonable, but Meteor Beam? That's crazy. Okay, they're not Final Gambit. That's good to know. And they really don't like my Indeedee, but... Okay. I'm gonna start Psy spamming you now. Eight probably protects... I guess I could get into Ursa Luna, but I might have to take a Drain Punch. Ape probably protects. Might even Terra. If, if it doesn't protect, it's gonna Terra. I don't have to worry about our Chalad on this turn. So I think I want to get in Ursa Luna now. And I want to expand in course. While I can actually hit this Annihilate for decent damage. They might Terra. It makes sense not to Terra turn one, they expect the Trick Room. Just hold it one more turn. But I do think Ape is going to be the Terra candidate. It just They could just protect this turn, then they don't need to. I'm hoping Expanding Force does decent into Archaladon. Oh, Archaladon swap, thank you. I like this. Into Sinistra? Yeah! Oh yeah, that's something I wanted big damage on. And Ape protects free! This is free! Ursa Luna got in for free! Let's see, what problems do I have now? Sinistra can redirect anything my bear does. So 
they could get like a drain punch off into my bear. I could swords dance the bear here. I could protect the bear here. But they do expect, I, I do expect a rage powder. I'm gonna swords dance expanding force. Expanding force should knock out Sinistra unless it Terra's. And if it Terra's, then they're not. Oh, I guess the worst case. Yeah, it's Rage Powder. Oh, they didn't Terra the Ape! Well, Expanding Force still hits your Ape! What are you doing? Oh, this is a beautiful turn for me. This is a double delete unless you're like Sash Ape. Yeah, bye! Thanks for playing. <laughs> okay. Now, the, they, it must be Pelipper Arch left, right? They could have Wide Guard. Yeah, it's Pelipper Arch. They could have Wide Guard. They could Terra their Archaladon here to take a Headlong Rush. I think the last thing they'll expect is for me to bring in Torkoal for the Ursa Luna. And then I can just armor cannon the Archaladon. Get rid of it that way. Yeah, I gave up my Swords Dance. I don't need it. I expect that Arch is just going to Terra anyway. And then the Headlong Rush is going to be useless. And I guess I could try to read that in Facade, but then Expanding Force is useless. Say Wide Guard. Oh! Oh, baby! <laughs> I thought it might be Grass. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> uh, Pelipper doesn't win the 1v4. Uh, even if they take a KO here, like, they would have to, like, Hurricane into armor rouge here just to get a KO. Oh man. <laughs> Weather ball? Thank you! <laughs> oh boy. Wait, we have trick room left? Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Weather ball. Is terrain still up? Yeah, they can wide guard. Weather ball. Armor cannon. Ooh, yeah. Sorry about what I did to your bridge there. Oh man, that was brutal. But go get a trainer card. Maybe it won't happen next time. We're back. Thank you for watching this long. I hope you enjoyed. I can't imagine you made it this far if you didn't. Uh, but if you did, make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And give this team a try. It's great on best of one ladder. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace.